full arm extension. I'm going to have you walk your, work your way across the parallel bars just like that. This is working the muscles of the shoulder and the upper back and the arms. And now I'm going to have you work yourself back. So you can go forward and then you can come backwards depending on your fitness level. Okay, now I'm going to have you stop. And we're going to do some knee raises for some abdominals. So there's another application here. You can do some, some knee raises. Good, just like that. So now we're engaging the core muscles. There, now pull. Hold. Good. Hold at the top. Now we're working the muscles of the upper back and the muscles in the arms. Okay? Depending on your fitness level, the modification would be to either get further under the bar uh, for a more challenging angle pull-up or walk your feet out and have a more upright position for a beginner or intermediate uh, pull-up. Go. Good. Good. So this exercise is working the muscles in the shoulder, across the chest, and the tricep. Okay? The modification here, uh, the low bar for a more intermediate to advanced push-up, the high bar on the other side for more of a beginner angle push-up. Good, there's a couple different applications um, with the abdominal station. First one, I'm going to have you just cross your arms and we're just going to tuck and engage the abdominal muscles right there. Good. Just like that. Just like that, do a couple more. That's good form. This is just a nice beginner abdominal crunch. Now, to uh, for a more advanced abdominal exercise, I'm going to have you do a full sit-up, bring the elbows up over the knees, leverage with your toes. Let's do a couple of those, just like that. Very good. Very good. Now, another advanced option here is to put the heels on top of the bar. Okay, so you, now we're giving up some of the leverage you had with the toes underneath the bar, and we're going to do the abdominal crunch. Okay, good. Good, and if you can, dig your heels down and try to come all the way up. This is a more advanced. There you go. That's a very, that, that would be the most challenging. Now, I'm going to have you spin around, Kathy. And we're going to do a reverse leg lift. Reaching back and grabbing the foot uh, hold. Okay, arms straight. Okay, bring your legs all the way up. We're going to start at a 90 degree angle. Now, depending on your uh, core strength and your fitness level, you're, that's going to determine how deep you go with your stretch. So I would suggest beginners start right about here. Good, just a very slight drop, engaging the abdominal muscles. As your core strength improves for a more advanced core activity, you're going to come a little deeper. Okay, you just want to be careful how deep you go because the deeper you go, the more stress it puts on your lower back. You also can do flutter kicks, which is an alternating uh, leg raise, just like that. Um, Kathy's going to help me demonstrate the Tai Chi uh, fitness wheels. So Kathy, I'm going to have you position your hands on the knobs and begin with an inward circle. Good. Now the, there's very little resistance, so this is more of a, a, a time station. It works the muscles of the shoulder, the neck, the upper back, and the arms. Uh, but it's really more for also kind of meditation and uh, relaxing, big, big circles. Now go the other way. You can do a minute, minute and a half each way. You can uh, increase the uh, workout by getting into a slight squat while you're doing the circles. And you can also alternate going one out and one in. There you go. In the park here can be used by multiple um, participants at the same time. And you can come down here with a few of your coworkers, uh, a few of your friends and, and work out together. There's, there's certainly enough applications for several people to uh, utilize the fitness equipment and also the open space to get a, uh, a great workout outdoors. Uh, Bethany's doing some lunges. Uh, we're, we're utilizing the parallel bars. We're doing some modifications with push-ups. We've got the crunch station working and the Tai Chi wheel on the end. So there's plenty, uh, to, plenty of stations for a small group of uh, people to come through at the same time.